Hello, you this beautiful person. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm so glad that you click on this video. <laughs> it's been so much to me. I am the lazy naturalist that together talks about natural hair and other lifestyle stuff. Thank you for coming to the channel today. Today's video is going to be all about NYC clearance documentation. Or should I say NYC documentation and clearance? <laughs> Anyone? So today I'm going for my ever first clearance and I was like, ah. What don't I, what don't I inform you guys what you should respect? Like, <laughs> so yeah, so I'll be going to the zona office my first clearance. And why I'm going, you will work with me as I talk about what you need for your documentation and clearance. First of all, before you go for your clearance, you must have done your documentation. You grab, so and before you do your documentation, you must have been accepted in your PPA. And before you accept your PPA, you must have presented. Your PPA letter, it's your PPA people. I thought you have a PPA letter. You must have passed out from your NYC camp after the 21 days. Yeah. So after the 21 days, this stressful, controlled, tiring days of camp, and you've gotten your PPA letter and your personal parade. The first thing you need to do is to report to PPA. The first is not to travel. Nah, don't do that. Don't do that. You have to report to PPA first. Take your permission for traveling before you travel. And so, my dear people of this channel, if this is your first time in my YouTube channel, I'm so glad to have you. Like, you mean a lot to me. I really, really appreciate it. And please do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. It means so much to me. It makes me happy. <laughs> I know you want to make me happy. You're not an evil person. <laughs> so... If you are a first timer, please subscribe and to my returning subscribers, hmm, you guys are the MVPs. Actually, those ones that turn on post notifications. You guys don't know how much you mean to me. You mean a lot, like literally, you mean so much to me. So let us write them. They cannot be said that they talk too much. <laughs> so when you've gotten your clearance, when you've gotten your documentation, what am I saying? When you've got your PPA later, yeah? And you've reported and you've agreed and they've signed. So when you when your documentation, there are things you need to take for your documentation. So you don't go and come back. You don't have to start going to and ask hey, what do I need? Mm -mm. This natural star is here to help you. So after accepting after you've been accepted by your PPA, things you need to take to your documentation are first there are eight things, should I say seven? Okay, the first thing is your color plate. Or your relocation approval. Well, I did not relocate, so I don't know how relocation approval look like. But your collaborator is only that you get from camp before you leave the camp gates. You get so that's the first thing you should be packaging. The next thing you should get is your green card. You should already know green card by now. I've explained that before. You guys, something you, you would get before you even go to the camp itself. The next, the third thing is your statement of results. Your statement of results. The fourth is your medical fitness. The fifth is your COVID 19 test results. Remember the test results I talked about in my previous video. The sixth is your assessor, acceptance sleep. Oh, what a sleep of tongue! <laughs> so, I'm not going to acceptance sleep. Acceptance sleep is okay. Hey, yeah, yeah, call up later. Yeah, the down of it, there's this little detachable. Later, should I said late? Should I say later? Where your PPA is meant to sign and their date and sign and that they accepted you. So once you've been accepted, that is just it's come. It's together with your color paper. Uh, you may meant to detach it, mm -hmm. you meant to tear it off and uh photocopy like let's say three. Okay, let's say four. I can't really remember right now. You give some to you submit some in the office and you should keep. She just have one copy with you. No matter sense, she tell you that. Then the la the other one should be your passport. Literally, your passport should be with you every time. So like me, there's always passport with me in my purse. So that's a passport. Then the other the last thing, which is not really the last, uh, because you're going to get it there, is your undertaking form. You're going to, you're going to be given an undertaking form. It could be inside or outside, but there are three undertaking forms. One is the good behavior form, 
uh, one's personal data from for core members the last one is undertaken undertaken by a core member not to disfigure their clothes and if you have gone to the camp i'm very sure this was this was the forms you filled inside the camp and you get the feelings again outside the camp yeah so are you getting this this document let's say the seven documents you packaged and you go into the office the nyc zona office and you submit it and it doesn't take time it should just you should maybe you could be asked to just write for you a booklet let's say your name your account number stuff just a short time and boom you're done and please before you leave the office okay i i actually forgot something your letter for permission to travel you actually need eight documents meal you write a letter to for permission to travel and you're going to submit it at your office before you travel there's a format for writing this later if you ever need this you can ask me for it or it's be at the end of the video so once you are done when you submit this thing and you submit your permission to travel it anything you you don't need to submit them in the same place when you submit the letter for you to travel for permission to travel please ask for your CLO number because you really do not know anybody so and the only way information can get to you is through your CLO officer. Your CLO officer, which is your CLO. So get the number and information will be passed across to you. Then you're done and you can travel for the time you said you're going to travel. You should know how you're not going to travel. Two weeks, one week. However, you must have put in your letter. Then when you are back, you really have to wait to be back. When the documentation is ready. You need to be told. Normal way, documentation used to be, it to be on your dashboard. But like my sets, people were in camp, stream two were in camp. So you're like, oh, ignore the date and time from your dashboard. Then we are ready. We're going to let you know. So when we are ready, we would write, I'm going to my documentation. Uh, I got what you just need. It's basically just your clearance letter from your PPA when you've resumed. That's why it's better to resume earlier before your clearance date. So you should not just go home and relax. It's advisable to just resume for your clearance date. So it look like okay, you're really working. So your PPA will not stress you giving you a clearance letter. I don't know for some states, but they may, they may be asked to get um your clearance schedule sleep my my place didn't ask for it my state didn't ask for it we didn't submit it but your clearance schedule sleep is the sleep on your dashboard where you'll be scheduled on the date for your clearance so if you're being asked for it you take it with you and you just go to the office and you submit everything and <laughs> that's it like literally does it okay you just don't print you, you know doesn't just stop print and you're done and you're out of there it's very simple stuff no waste of time so my video I beg what's up Amarachi. Five girls, my doctor, mm. I'm fine. How are you, my dear? How are you? How was your day? How have you been? So, you have been that reaction? Yeah, I'm a mammy. Look, still rubbing.